Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Half-Life, Episode 3. Actually, this is technically Half-Life Episode 2. Or, uh, Half-Life 2, Episode 3. There we go, I got it right this time. Only took three tries. <sighs> so, last episode, Barney, good old Barney, little whipple dick face, gave us a crowbar. And my phone went off. I'm not sure why. So I'm I'm very upset at Barney right now. He he could have easily given me a gun or something, but no, he had to give me a mother beeping crowbar. I don't you know. Uh, you know it's a great weapon. It's, it works for killing zombies. But really, a crowbar. All right, so let's go over some of the cool features that the suit does real quick here. As you saw, it has a flashlight. Uh, this little meter right there is the power of the suit. So it has uh, the oxygen, the flashlight. You can actually sprint. Uh, what else do we got here? Th that's pretty much it right now. Um, we're going to create these crates here. There's usually a lot of useful stuff in the crates, so... Holy mother, that's not cool. We're gonna run away now. Get, get, let me in, let me in. Run away. Run away. Frickin' jerk. Go away, go away. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna open these doors here. Huh? Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Not cool. Go away. Bad train. Okay. I mean, it wasn't that much of a close call. Go away. Not that much of a close call, but... Could have been, it could have been worse. There's any cool stuff in these boxes. There's usually lots of really nice stuff in the boxes here. Can I break this dresser? Apparently the crowbar is awesome enough to break a dresser. Let's go up the ladder and stop shooting me, you jerks. Oh crap, I just fudged that up. Uh, let's go back. Really? Yeah, my way, thank you. Okay. Jump across here and woohoo! We are all set. Anything fun or secretive over here? No, okay. I still don't remember where... See, and uh, as you see... Ow! Hey! Ow! Ah! Let's, let's get out of here. These people are annoyed. Running away. Alright, cool. Now, that sprint actually uses quite a lot of the uh, ox power. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Shout out to my wife, who turned 23 yesterday. Shh, don't tell her I said that. These are handy. These are just randomly placed all over the place. Um, you know, if you need health, uh, use it. There we go. We only had one minor thing of damage there, so. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, you got a pistol? Yeah, what uh, What up now, buddy? Oh, I got a pistol. You better run. There's nothing else you can do here. Okay, well. Well, um, since, since we're... That health is still here. We're going to use the health. Thing. There we go. All right. So, um, it's pretty basic. You're better off staying with your crowbar for quite a while uh, until you actually run into people to, to actually shoot, always shoot, actually check crevices and stuff. You want to pull your pistol here now and uh, just kind of make sure you actually aim first. That's, that's very important that you actually aim. Uh, there is no aim down the sights in this game. It's just where your crosshair is pointing. That's where the bullet's going to be. This pistol is actually pretty good. You actually can store a lot of ammo. Um, the barrels are actually really useful. Keep these here. Do not actually shoot them. As my computer just kind of goes crazy. It always does that in this scene. I'm not sure why. The frame rate just kind of goes crazy. You can't really do anything over here. So uh, This is actually pretty cool. You kind of can pull some Jackie Chan maneuvers here. Uh, you see the uh, the train coming up here. So this is it. What's that? What are you doing? What's that? Yay, buggy. So what you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for the train. You're gonna jump on the train, and then you're gonna jump off. That's pretty cool crap right there, if I do say so myself. I'll go away. See so, you now. See so, you now these uh there we go. There he's dead. Let's just watch the explosions ensue here. Pull out your crowbar again and throw all these stuff. Uh. You know what? I'm trying to get away in peace. But you just don't want to let me. 
Now, there's actually ammo here, which is really, apparently, th yeah. This is how well they hide the secrets. There's a secret right there. Your secrets are always going to be marked with a half-life symbol. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, what you're going to want to do with this is shoot them twice or run away, because they will kill you if you're next to them. Like, that's a pretty much instant death right there. Kill those, because those actually sometimes alert the guards and show you where they're positioned. So just kind of keep that in mind. Apparently this is there. I only have one bullet left. Uh, you, you run out of ammo pretty quickly in the uh, the first couple levels of Half-Life. But, but, like I said, oh, let's see. Yeah, just back away. Thanks, I appreciate that. Open up the gate there. Come on, get over. No, I still have issues remembering what buttons do what. But we were just in that house. This is just a... This is a pretty straightforward level. It, it kind of holds your hand through the entire way, level-wise. Some of the levels that we're gonna, you know, I'm just gonna ignore you, you're just pissing me off. That you get to are kind of uh, confusing. There's another secret there. You're gonna kind of go in here, take out your crowbar, get all this nice yummy stuff. Apparently, he wants to be here too. Cause he's my friend. Sit down. Thank you. All right. Now that there's nothing left, we're just gonna jump down here. Ow. Yeah, you really don't wanna watch out. There's actually gonna be a couple guys here trying to surprise you with that barrel. Be careful. Here comes the train. Now, the train can either act as cover or act as your death. So just kinda be extra careful here. Uh, there is a small energy pack down there. Ow, hey now! Sit down. Now, what's actually really quite funny too is this. He's dead. Got a little health back here for you. Which is, these are really nice because they kind of, they're kind of just placed all over the, the certain levels and you're okay. Um, I usually use sprint quite a lot just to kind of go through some of the more basic stuff a little bit quicker. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is this. And as you can see, I'm sprinting everywhere. You can actually kill these guys with a the crowbar. They don't do a lot of damage to you. Um, it's kind of pathetic, but you know. Now, when you're carrying something, you actually cannot uh, uh, sprint. There, there's where I was looking for. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You can use the crowbar, but this way is just quicker. And you can just kind of bypass a lot of stuff. The health room in there is not going to actually get blown up at all. Now, you can... Uh, it's, 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 yes, you can. Oh, stop it, really? You're shooting me now. You can't actually pass through these, but you can shoot through them. There's actually quite a lot of enemies you're going to have to kill in the first couple. Pick up all the stuff, and just kind of go haywire here. Always try and aim for the head. With the pistol, you can just kind of go haywire and just kind of go for it. This is actually a really pretty neat part here. Uh, you can either jump or just kind of do do the ledge walk a little bit, but I obviously failed at that, so we're just going to kind of keep going. Thankfully, there's no creepy creatures in the water like in Half-Life 1. Uh, you will encounter them eventually, but uh, get off the boat. N not to the point where you're scared crapless and you're like, I don't want to move forward. I remember the, uh, the shark level in Half-Life 1. Well, it was pretty scary. Stupid thing, go away. But uh, for now, the uh, the enemies are pretty basic and uh, whatnot. So this is the last stretch of you trying to escape, and here we go. God. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Thanks. Go ahead, jolt me. Yeah, yeah. Now, what that jolt does is going to restore health and give you some suit power. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. Thanks. We serve the same. That's true. And, uh, be quiet. I'm, t I'm telling something. I'm talking to my audience. Shh. Um, what he said about we both serve the same mystery, man, 
or I think it's mystery, I believe is what he said. Uh, he's referring to the G-Man, actually. There, there's actually quite a lot of lore of Half-Life, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But uh, next episode, guys, we're going to continue and venture on through the Underground Railroad. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.